Hi, I'm Laura with Cybert. I'm here today to talk to you about project templates from templating.app. Why did we create this feature? Because in most companies, regular users can't create projects. That's only for admins. And if they regularly need to create new Jira projects for their work, and they have to ask the Jira admin to create those projects, that can create a bottleneck. But with templating.app, you can easily set up templates so users can simply, with a few clicks, create the project for their needs. So to configure this, you can access templating from the apps menu. And we're going to click on project templates. If I was a regular user, I could select on this template, for example. I would just need to uh, give it a name, give it a key, and create the project. And my new project has been created. So let's take a look at what's set up with this template. So we've given it a name. You can give it a description if you want. This can make it easier for our users to know uh, what this template is for. You can select or leave it up to users to select if they want a Jira software project or a Jira work management project. You can pre-configure who is the project lead. You can set this template as if it enabled or disabled. If it's disabled, it won't show up in the templates menu that users can see, but it's still available through the API. You can then configure field configuration schemes. This is an easy drop-down menu. Same thing for issue security schemes, issue type schemes, the notification schemes, etc. for all of these uh, schemes. So again, you can choose to pre-select this or let users select one or multiple of these elements. Next, you need to configure who can use this template. So here we have this template configured that users as part of the consultants group can use this template as well as an additional user. So that means you can control who can generate these specific types of projects. You can add customizations to make it easier for people to understand what the choices are that are available. For example, the notification scheme, this is related to the emails and notifications. So it's a bit clearer for people to understand what the options are if you leave some of these open for users to make a choice as they're creating a project. So as you can see, it's really easy for users to be able to generate a project on their own, eliminating bottlenecks, waiting for admins to create the projects, giving them a lot of work when they have a lot of things to concentrate on, and they can get going with their projects really easily. You can see in the description links to documentation as well as the marketplace to get started with